What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Pharah as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you a quick and easy rundown of how Pharah works and what you want to be doing with her as a cameo. What she offers for mix up, combo extension, utility, and more. So don't forget and subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's jump right into it. Pharah is a pretty aggressive cameo that offers awesome mix up and awesome combo extension and even some safe ways out of different things and I'll explain that later. But for right now, here's what you need to know. Pharah, as she comes out, as you press the cameo, button she is a stance cameo so as you see she's on our back so from this moment on we can only do the things that she offers while she's on our back in the ferris stance meaning we can't do like a special move we can't be doing like down forward one nothing happens well except the ferris move but she's got a couple different things she can do while on your back like that quickly back dash forward dash you can have little hop over things so movement's pretty good while she's on your back like that she's got four different moves while in that stance one two three and four like square triangle triangle x circle a b x y you get it so in this stance one is actually a launching mid and yeah that can be used to start combos obviously using two as an overhead and yeah that's also a launcher so far we got a mid and an overhead launcher and you guessed it three is a low launcher just like this so as you can see right there, we already have an overhead and a low launcher just from Farah coming out of the Farah stance and either pressing two or three, giving us a mix-up launcher. So if your character struggles with like mix-up or even launchers, there is a great way to help enhance that. And then when she's on your back and you press four, you actually turn her into a projectile, funny enough. And that is a overhead projectile as well. And you can choose if you want to throw her far, mid, close by just holding the direction of like how far you want to throw her. So if I want to throw towards me, I'll just hold close to me. And her throw is full screen too which is pretty cool. So you can see, we got some mix-up options. We got a good mid launcher. We got a projectile all from the Ferris stance. Now, how might you use that in combos? Well, you can use it for mix-up during a combo. It doesn't necessarily connect all the time, but it can be used to throw your opponent off guard. So like for Raiden, for an example, we can go low, low. And then from there, we can call in Ferra and make our opponent guess, are we gonna go overhead or low for the next hit? Throwing in that mix-up option. If you land it, you got a launcher. So if they guess wrong, there's a launcher combo. So all you gotta do is throw Farah out there. And now they're gonna go, I don't know what to do. Which, which one do I block? They're gonna guess. And again, if they guess wrong, break combo. If you get Farah on your back and you wanna cancel Farah and you don't wanna do anything, just press cameo again. And then while she's in the Farah stance like this, do down, down, cameo. You stab yourself, you do take damage, but now you have a damage buff. If we take her off of us, now we can do a combo and we have extra damage on this combo. I mean, 45% for one bar, it's not bad. But here's the kicker, you can do that twice. Watch this on you do down, down, cameo, and then down, down, cameo again, then get her off of you. Now we're double buffed up. Then we'll do a combo like this. And that same combo we just did now does 530 damage. So she can really enhance your damage output for anybody. So Farah so far offers us mix up, combo extension, some launchers, a damage buff, and we're not even done yet. Outside of the Farah stance, you just have down cameo. So she comes out and she's literally your cheerleader. So what she does here is she boosts your super meter gain when you hit your opponent, but you also get your super meter depleted if you get hit by your opponent. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Is it worth it though? Let's go ahead and show it off so as you can see right here i have zero super meter bar so i'm gonna call out farah do a simple combo i have no bars but i'll just do a simple combo real quick you know end it with a special i'm gonna do the same exact combo one more time okay so with farah doing that same combo twice you see here we almost have two bars almost so doing that same combo like that twice in a row without farah how much super meter do we actually gain without her boost we gotta test that out to find out if it's worth it so here we go there's one time and here's two times So that same combo I just did twice, and you guys you can see there, I have not even one bar. Like we're barely over the halfway mark for getting a single bar of super meter. Whereas when we had Farah out there boosting our super meter gain by hitting our opponent, we almost had two bars. So at that point, you really could just use Farah and always just gain more super meter from your combos like that. And because your super meter actually gets depleted when you get hit while Farah's out like that, it's not smart to just throw her out out of nowhere. You wanna land a hit into a combo then call her out we see that hit connect i'll call farah there we go now i know that my next few hits are gonna be getting meter for me but then as soon as we're back in neutral i gotta be afraid because if i get hit my super meter will be depleted 
And that's kind of a trade off because normally you actually gain super meter by getting hit. When fair is that they're being your cheerleader, you're actually going to lose the meter. So again, it's kind of a double edged sword, but it can really be worth it and get you ahead of the game when it comes to super meter. It's really good. So we got mix up combo extension, a damage buff, a super meter gain buff, and we're still not done with Farah. So while you're in the air at all, like whether it be from like a combo string or you jump, Farah has up cameo where she'll jump onto your back in the air. And from that air, like what that like few frames you're in the air you can press one or two and you'll swing Farah doing an overhead and as you can see there's a launcher too so we get an overhead and a launcher now keep in mind that does take your full meter bar because you are calling Farah out like this and that is a half cameo bar and then using the move in the air that is your other half so calling her out in the air then getting that overhead does take your full cameo bar that can be pretty situational you don't want to always do that but there are some combo strings in the game that put you in the air that you can then call Farah out and get an aerial overhead where your combo string normally doesn't end in an overhead and i know it sounds like a lot but here's what i mean by that so right now our opponent is blocking low as we can see right here but they're not blocking overhead well, Raiden has a one, two, three combo that actually puts us in the air. You can see right there those few frames, Raiden's actually in the air. And a lot of characters have a string like that where they'll end up back on the ground. Yes, but they are technically in the air for a brief moment. So for an example, in Raiden's one, two, three combo, we can actually call Farah up cameo while we're in the air and then do her one or two in the air, giving us that overhead. And it looks like this. Again, that does use your entire cameo bar, so you gotta, you know, debate is that worth it or not. But normally I can't do anything after one, two, three. That combo is just more of an ender. It is safe, yes. But being able to call out Farah, they get an overhead as well, which is actually a launcher for combo extension. That's pretty sweet. But then at that point, you really wanna mix it up because your opponent's probably gonna see that one time, get hit by it, and then they're gonna know what you're trying to do if they see the one, two, three come out again. And you can use that in any character's aerial combos like this. So if your character like Raiden doesn't have a, a an aerial combo that actually bounces your opponent, well, Farah's a cameo using her full cameo bar does kind of offer you that now. So at the end of the day, guys, Farah has got a ton of stuff to work with. Again, we have mix up, we got combo extension, we got a damage buff. And keep in mind, it does damage you. Like I said, we can gain extra super meter while she's out like this, and then extra aerial combos as well. Farah is a force to be reckoned with, and man, she is she is probably one of my new favorite cameos, I'm not gonna lie. With that being said, I hope this video helped you gain an understanding of how to actually use Farah as a cameo, what she's good for, what she's used for, and how you can best utilize her with your character. If it did, remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe here for more fighting game content, let me know what you think of Farah down below, take it one step at a time, and I'll see you in the next one.